Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Sophia with Garden State Film Festival, and here with me are the people behind the making of the short student film, I Wasn't There. We have Kira Johnson and Jay Fielding. How are you guys today? Yeah, we're good. good. How are yeah, you? How are you? I'm doing well. I'm excited. Thank you for taking time out to talk to us. Let's tell everybody um, who you are and your titles in the film, please. Hi, um, I'm Jay Fielding. Um, I was the cinematographer of the film. I'm Kira Johnson. I was the director. Lovely. And thank you. Congratulations on your acceptance to Garden State Film Festival. How do thank we you. feel about getting accepted? Good. Good. Yeah, really good. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Good. And is this going to be the first time that you will be going to the Garden State Film Festival? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Very cool. New friends. So talk to me about I Wasn't There. What was the film about? The film um, was initially about like anxiety and dealing with that. And eventually it kind of shifted to dealing with grief too and coping. Um, I mean, I, I would like to say without, you know, explaining too much, I really related to the film. Um, on a very personal level. So I know the writer's not in the room today, right? It was kind of a mix of both of yeah. us. <laughs> okay, so you both wrote it. What was the inspir like what was the inspiration for writing? How did it find its way from anxiety to grief? Um uh, so in the beginning, you know, a lot of people in school, like teenagers, they do struggle with anxiety and we thought that, that was a good place to start. And then as we and as we were feeling, we were thinking and we were like, in a way, grief is kind of easier to portray and yeah. It was a way to like, kind of like dig deeper in a way. All right. And what was that writing process like since you both wrote it together? Like, how did we collaborate on that? Was it easy? Was it difficult? I think it's pretty easy. Jay and I work together really well in a way that I'll have an idea and he knows how to make it come to life. <laughs> so a lot of our films, like we storyboarded and then we'll go back and completely change the storyboard. So yeah. we are always adding stuff. <laughs> Mm. And when it came to this film, it was just, there was so much in the writing, but also in the visuals. So Jay, let's talk about uh, video, like the DPing, that, wh why can I not speak? I'm so sorry, guys. Let's talk about filming. <laughs> I wasn't there. Um, <laughs> Tell me how you guys came up with that shot list and what was filming like? Yeah, filming was a lot. We did a lot of filming. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people we took so many shots. Um, I thought it would be a cool, it would be cool to kind of show the sadness and this grief, but with these like pretty blues and these pretty colors that kind of like con contrast it. But then, like I don't, know, I don't know. Like we went in there very early in the morning to try and get these shots yeah. because I felt like it would contrast the whole meaning. Of Six a.m. Oh. Wow. And was it all detailed? Did you guys know when you went in there at 6 a.m. in the morning what you were going to shoot, or did you go with the flow? I had, yeah, I had like a structure of what I wanted to get done. So I was like, we're going to go in there, we're going to get this, 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 but then we would go in and we would like get extra shots and wound up like using some of them. Right. And the final product of the film, I mean, it is the editing of it is, is very intense. There's a lot of shots. You use this wonderful ticking sound. Was that all pre-planned or was that something you found after you filmed? Found after, yeah. way after. How did that happen? So <laughs> a lot of the film was figuring out how it would like logistically work. And we realized probably like two days before we had to turn it in that we didn't have a film that we could turn in. So it was a lot of like last minute scrambling of like, okay, what could we do? Like writing the end of it last minute. And that's why we had to like go back and add like a letter and the ticking noises to make the whole story make sense. But like, I'm glad we did. Yeah. Me too. Wow. So that letter wasn't, that was something, the letter and the ticking was both yeah. things that you added after the fact. Yeah. And like, who thought of that idea to add the ticking? Who thought, wow. Hand double right here. Yeah. I'm not, double. I don't want to ruin the magic, but that's my hand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, let's talk about who the hand was supposed to be. How did you <laughs> find those two stars that we see and I wasn't there? Yeah. So it was our two like best friends, Elena and Lee. Um, we were friends with them. Like beginning of the year, we made our first film with Lee. Um, it turns out Lee was like friends with Elena, so we kind of became a group of four. Yeah. And we made like a film with them, and they were happy to act, and we were really glad they did. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> yeah, they were great. Kira, so you've directed something before, or is this your directorial debut? This is sort of my first like official directorial debut. I've like directed like little stuff for myself mm -hmm. before, but not officially. 
So how was directing this? Did you find it challenging? Was it fun? Like talk to me about the directing experience. I love directing. It's so much fun. I like, it's just the headspace you can get into. Like I see it in my head and I, I need people to act it out the way I want to see it. Mm -hmm. So is there anything you learned from editing, from editing, from directing I Wasn't There so that you're going to take on to the next project? I think Definitely, like I already have, because we did I Wasn't There, and then our first film of this year was Sugar Rush, and just being in a spot and being comfortable to like actually direct actors is something you have to work up to. It's You don't feel comfortable telling people what to do at first, but it gets easier. Mm. And Jay, is this was uh, I Wasn't There the first time you were the cinematographer on a project? No, I, I, I mean, we did... We did like a stop motion film beforehand. I, I, I'm kind of artsy. So I, I wanted to take on the role of the cinematographer because I like seeing things in my mind and I want to just make it real. Mm. And anything you learned during this project that you're going to take to the next? Oh yeah. I mean, like I saw the shots and I said, we're going to do this, but now I know um, how to be like more realistic and not say, let's all wake up at 6am, but also find the same shots that I want. But like mm -hmm. later in the day. Yeah. So we filmed this 6 a.m. And then after the fact, we had to film the letter. We added a lot. How long did the process take as a whole? Like how long did it take to make I Wasn't There? Three, four months. Yeah. Three, four months. Like we submitted it late. Yeah, we submitted it late. <laughs> and it was originally for a class project or? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it was originally for a class and it we had like a prompt, but we decided let's kind of take it, but like make it our own. So we kind of drifted completely away from the prompt. Mm. <laughs> what was the original prompt? <laughs> I think it was like French New Wave or yeah. something. <laughs> French New Wave, okay. French New Wave, and then there's like Golden Hour. We're like, let's yeah. do Golden Hour. We'll do Golden and Hour. you guys got accepted to the Garden State Film Festival, so I'm assuming you got an A++. I hope, yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. All right, we well, you got know. an A++ in our book, clearly. Oh my gosh. So I would love to know more about you both. What inspires your art? Where do you guys find inspiration day to day? Grief. <laughs> yeah, grief is the biggest inspiration yeah. for our art. Jay and I are always working on like eight projects at once. Yeah, right mm -hmm. now we're working on an art project. We also just did a photo shoot. Um, we have the concept for our next film. <laughs> yeah. We're working on a song together. Like it's I just, lot. we usually go with grief and music and just yeah, like I love it. Like, yes ideas and joy even. Oh man, I, I mean, grief, I also am inspired by grief and in, in such a sad way, but but I, so I very much respect that. Are there any other artists or films, music, anything specifically that like is a, is a big inspiration to you guys? Um, Phoebe Bridgers. Phoebe Bridgers. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, I love it. There's also a movie I watched uh, last year. It was an Italian movie, but just the shots and the way that everything just like flowed together and how mm -hmm. there was a difference in the past, but then a difference in the future. I really like love the visual aspect of the film. And I like mm -hmm. using that kind of like ideas for our films that we usually do. Oh, awesome. You're both extremely young creative artist. And like you said, you know, you're making a, making a song, working on a film, working on a bunch of stuff, which is basically an artist's mind. What are some goals you guys have for the future? <laughs> I know um, it's a big question. Who wants to be asked that, but I'm asking it. <laughs> um, I want like college wise or just like future in general? I would say future in general. Yeah. Um, I kind of want to do I want to have my future be with the arts? So I want to. Mm -hmm. I really want to focus on music, but I also love film and I love art, and I just want to just have a life of just like art. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually, like a lifelong goal is to publish my own book or something like that. Oh my gosh, that is amazing! And talk to me about the school that you guys are in. We don't need to know the exact school, but does it really um, nurture artists like yourselves? Is it like? based in yeah. filmmaking or is it a just a regular old public school <laughs> um i feel honestly i feel like our school is has a lot of art I there's a lot so. of kids who really do really good art and it's really supported like if you want to do something you want to do a project you're able to do it the yeah. classes are great the teachers are great oh okay good good i love that so when we were filming i wasn't there did you guys know the location um beforehand or did how would we find the location because it's a really cool, it's like a woods park. Talk to me about the yeah. location that you guys filmed in. 
Yeah, so it's it's a park nearby, like, our house, and we, we knew, like, that could be a good spot to film because it, there's different areas that look like different places. Like, there's part, it kind of looks like, like a wet, like, river area, and there's, like, the, the grassy part, and there's the, the woods. Marina. Yeah, the marina. Yeah. So there's just, there's a lot of areas that look different, so we could just, like, film a bunch of stuff at one place. Mm -hmm. Oh, and when you guys first went 6 a.m., how long, how long was that filming day? I was there like 6 a.m. to like, like 1. Yeah. That 1 p.m. or 1 a.m.? No, 1 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's still a long shoot. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So do we have any favorite things we're watching right now? Are you guys into any shows, any movies? What's what This year, what has been um, the favorite thing to watch or listen to? I just finished uh, Better Call Saul. Like, oh, I still got to watch that. Yeah, the Breaking Bad um, thing. And that was mm. really good. The storyline in it is just so good. That's definitely been like an inspiration for our work. Yeah, I, I was I was just rewatching you because um, the fourth season's coming out. And yes, I really it like is. And the rules and stuff. And I think it's a really cool show. Oh, amazing. Um, I need to watch Better Call Saul. And I'm also a big fan of you. So thank you guys. That was really cool. Um, how did you hear about Garden State Film Festival and how does it feel to have I Wasn't There screen this year? Um, so our teacher actually was telling us about it. Um, we didn't have a film ready to submit last year, but one of our friends got in and she was like, it was such a cool film festival. Like, and I was like, I want to get into that film festival. Yeah. I was like, sure, we got to make a good film. We got to get into this film festival. So we knew that this was kind of like a big goal to like get here uh, and so I'm really psyched about yeah, it yeah so our teacher submitted it and then we got in so we're very excited so you knew in making i wasn't there that you were going to submit to garcia film festival yeah yeah oh my gosh so this is like huge validation and accomplishment that you guys got yeah, in and, and yeah. reached that goal well congratulations guys will you both be at the festival this year absolutely yes I love it. I love it. Well, I hope to see you guys there. Let me tell everyone watching how they can see I wasn't there. It will be playing Saturday, March 25th, 9.30 a.m. to 11.45 a.m. in the Berkeley Hotel in the Kingsley Ballroom. So definitely check it out. Maybe meet Kira and Jay. And um, thank you guys again for taking the time out. And best of luck in all your next projects and the future. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you, guys. See you at the festival. Bye. 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 Bye.